we all have this need to move back and forth. It's a cycle. It's the cycle of life. Um, everything, I would say, is a cycle. And we relate to that. Day and night, uh, uh, I'm hungry, I'm not hungry, I want to sleep, I want to be awake, I want to have tension, I want to have release. And if we understand those concepts, we are safe. We can, we can play, we can play a lot, as long as we don't mess around with some very clear archetypal uh, concepts, the needs that we all have to, to be moved and to relate to this, uh, you know, to the sounds that, that, that we're creating. It's um, an exciting moment, but also a difficult one for composers, uh, mainly because uh, the instruments that we're using have been uh, designed uh, for a different type of music. So we're still right for piano and violin and flute, and uh, they worked well for Mozart and Beethoven and uh, the, the romantic composers. But the sounds that we are looking for today, the sounds of our world, have changed. Technology has to play an important part in, in, in the life of, of a composer. So my uh, goal was to uh, write a piece for flute and pre-recorded sounds. It would be flute and pre-recorded flutes because I have uh, used uh, the piccolo flute, the uh, C flute, the alto flute, the bass flute, all the flutes, the main flutes in the family, which you wouldn't be able to have very easily on stage. So what happens now? is that you hear a lot of flutes, you see only one, but you hear a lot of flutes and the, the speakers are uh, always uh, going to be changed according to the performance space and to the needs of, of, the, um, of the performer. So this concert in particular is great because it's, it's a large space um, and you're going to hear hundreds of flute sounds basically in, in this large uh, church, um, but see only one player. So, um, I would say uh, it's, it's kind of an exotic type of a piece. You know, I'm not religious, but if, if music would be my religion, I would say I believe in some core values. Um, that music has to be stimulating, it has to move you. you. You cannot just listen to a piece of music and not react. And it has to be... Um, in some ways intellectually, um, uh, I don't want to say challenging, but in, uh, it has to ask questions because I see music as a form of art and, and not necessarily entertainment. So there's a, there's a certain amount of risk that I take with my music because I want people to wonder uh, how was that sound produced or why is it there. Not everything is comfortable and expected. Um, so these are some of the values that, that I look at. Then, because I've listened so much to Beethoven and, and the great composers of the past, I noticed some, some things that always work. Okay, there is past, there is present, and there is future. And we have expectations. We cannot really separate what has happened in the past from what is happening now. Some composers work that way. Every sound has its own life and, and so on. So once you, you listen to something, you have expectations. There is no way you're going to detach yourself from that. So what you do with those expectations is uh, a great lesson that I learned from Beethoven. You want to fulfill them and you want to surprise the people. These are, you know, great musically religious values. Um, I think simplicity has to be there in terms of the structure. I don't write simple music, but you cannot complicate everything. You cannot have complicated sounds and complicated harmonies and complicated rhythms and, and a, a great complex philosophical idea b behind your music. I think you, you can ask a lot of questions, but at the same time you have to allow the, 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 the audience to to be satisfied that you know they figured out some things they figured out that music moves from a to b and it goes in that direction and there's a reaching point so you see these are very abstract things but with this sort of a, a group of core values i think i can safely compose you know, for 10 20 years 
um, and continuously reinvent this um, uh, journey, right? Mm -hmm.